Cell phones are ruining the country with a higher addiction rate than crack or meth, way causing more problems than alcohol did, still does. I demand something must be done. Ideas? Prohibition. Could you imagine? All cell phones are now prohibited. There'd be like bootleg cell phone companies called like Moonshiners and Virgin Mobile. The laws would be like, if you get caught texting, they chop off your hands. And then like two days later, they reverse the law. And now you're just some handless freak. And the judge is like, I'm sorry, you can't get your hands back because they're dead now. And now you're forced to wash cars with your elbows for work and eat food with your feet and all because you wanted to text some dumb girl who makes fun of you now for being fingerless so how can you go out and to a, see a movie and moral of the story is don't text and drive because it's illegal and you'll get your hands chopped off. Anyway, that, that brings me to... Have you ever called one of your friends? One of your... One of your poor friends. One of your poor friends. And, you know, it's like ring, ring, click, clack. I'm sorry. Your friend is way too poor to receive this phone call. He cannot afford one minute of your time over the air. And, like, feel bad for him, you know? I just want to tell you, come over. I don't know. If that ever happened to you, it happens to me. <clears throat> Does anyone know those people who are like, Ugh, I wake up at 5.30 in the morning. Ugh, what? Oh, you could just sleep in till noon. Ooh. Lucky you. I have to wake up at 5.30 and chase kids around. I don't care. <laughs> you think I care. And plus, I sleep in till 10. Thank you very much. Sleep in till 5.30. Hit the snooze button. I don't care. Hit it twice. So I was working the other night, and this this guy orders a bloody virgin, and I'm like, "Sir, please don't say things like that." It's a family restaurant. He's like, "I I I was just too much of a puss to get a Shirley Temple." Bloody virgin. Yeah. But I guess that's what she was in the end. There's so many birds outside because it's spring here that they better hope I don't get too hungry because I'll go 1700s on their ass if they keep chirping like they're doing. They better change their agenda. I joined the 10 foot high club the other day. 10 foot high. Sex on a ladder. Not only that, but I had a roofie. Yeah, I had sex on a roof. Do you know what a female vampire's favorite time of the month is? Oddly enough, it's the uh, male vamp. It's the boyfriend's favorite time of the month too. I crossbred my dog 
with whole wheat and whole grain. My girlfriend said her uh, stomach was cold, so I gave her a fallopian tube sock. So there you go. Warm up. We'll see you next time. Going up on Thursday again. Check it. Check it.